here we have Minecraft RTX and this is the best implementation of real-time ray tracing that I've seen in a video game in early 2021. Not only the best implementation of real-time ray tracing but also the best implementation of DLSS. We are running at 4K today on the Razorblade Pro 17 with the RTX 3080 card and it really doesn't struggle. Um, I've seen frame rates anywhere between 50 and 75 frames per second but it runs really smoothly. It tends to hang around 55 um, but that's perfectly playable. The texture pack that you're looking at at the moment is Dig. Um, I was really disappointed when they made the full release of Minecraft RTX because the Nvidia texture packs were nerfed. Um, instead of having proper textures, they became really flat. Um, so I was disappointed until I found this texture pack when I was just searching the internet earlier today. And I think you'll agree, it looks pretty damn good. Um, so one of the areas, I've probably played more Minecraft Java than RTX. And one of the areas that I thought that Minecraft Java would always have the edge was in terms of its water effects. So if you are running a shader pack such as Sonic Ether, just always thought it would be ahead of Minecraft RTX until I saw this implementation and once again they have nailed it. Um, the water on this game looks so realistic. Um, I just quite enjoy staring at it. <laughs> so um, so yeah this is going to be a short video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, I'll leave a link to this texture pack so you can enjoy it too. I have a video coming um, on Minecraft Java 2 and I'm trying to make it look good enough to compete with this and it's going to be close so stay tuned for that. Um, this has been Minecraft RTX on the Razorblade 17 Pro. I hope it's given you a good idea of the kind of performance you can expect if you pick up one of these devices. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video, learned something new. If so, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Good night.